Hi there, I'm Teacher Carol from CamCrush.com and welcome to NTC's Dictionary of Everyday American English Expressions. In the previous videos, we've talked about those expressions that you can use when you are sick. Now, when you're sick, of course, the best person that you need to see is doctors. So, let's talk about those expressions that doctors usually use. If medicine from over-the-counter drugstore is not enough, I guess you need to see the doctor now to help you check your illness. Now, to start with, let's talk about questions a doctor asks of a patient. Here are some of the questions that a doctor asks to his or her patient. Like, what's the matter? What's the matter? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? What brings you here? What brings you here? You look fit as a fiddle. What could be wrong? You look fit as a fiddle. What could be wrong? Fit as a fiddle is an idiomatic expression meaning you look healthy. Next is describe what's wrong. Describe what's wrong. Can you describe the problem or symptoms? Can you describe the problem or symptoms? Can you tell me what's wrong? Can you tell me what's wrong? Does it hurt when I do this? Does it hurt when I do this? Has this been a problem before? Has this been a problem before? Have you had this problem before? Or have you had this before? Have you had this problem before? Or have you had this before? Have you had this problem long? Have you had this problem long? And lastly, how long have you had this problem? How long have you had this problem? So, if you're not feeling well and you will go to see your doctor, again, here are the usual questions that your doctor might ask you. So, better be prepared to tell in details and explain how do you feel okay well done now that you already know what are those questions that your doctor might ask you let's talk about getting your medical history it is also important for the doctor to get your medical history so that he or she can easily analyze and give you your medication and Usually, they will ask you the following questions like, Is your mother or father living? Is your mother or father living? What did your mother or father die for? What did your mother or father die of? Is there a history of diabetes, cancer, heart disease, arthritis, or strokes in your family? Is there a history of diabetes, cancer, heart disease, arthritis, strokes in your family? So, why your doctor needs to ask the following questions? Because your doctor needs to make sure that the sickness or the illness that you have right now is not from your family history 
Meaning, you didn't catch that kind of disease from your parents or relatives. It's also easy for them to give you medication once they know if you catch this kind of illness from them. Now, let's move on to telling the doctor what happened. How will you tell the doctor what happened? You can say the following. I fell down the stairs. I fell down the stairs. I fell off a skateboard. I fell off a skateboard. I got hit with a ball or with a bat. I got hit with a ball or a bat. I was in a fight. I was in a fight. Or I was in an accident. I was in an accident. It is very important that you tell to your doctor in detail what happened to you so that your doctor can easily check which part of your body he or she needs to focus with. Now, let's talk about telling the doctor about a pain in the back. How will you tell to your doctor about a pain in your back? You can say, I have a pain in my back. I have a pain in my back. My back is sore. My back is sore. Or, my back hurts. My back hurts. I have an aching back. I have an aching back. You can also say, I can't bend over. I can't bend over. I can't get up. I can't get up. I pulled my back. I pulled my back and I threw my back out. I threw my back out. It is important that you know what to say to your doctors. So next time, if you're not feeling well and you need to go to the clinic or you need to see your doctor, Use the following expressions that we have here so that your doctors can easily understand your situation. So, that will be all for today, guys. Join me again in the next video as we continue our lesson about those expressions regarding doctors. This is Teacher Carol once again saying goodbye for now.